All right, should we start this or what? You seem pretty pumped up, dude. Just ready to go, man. Apparently, I'm ready to go. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, this crazy. game would be so much better if I was white girl wasted. You know it. <laughs> we're gonna give it. We're gonna give it a shot. All right, we're gonna give it a shot. And then uh, if it would be enhanced by a few beverages next week, we we'll be beverages next week. You know what I'm saying? Oh. You all right? A little bit of a runny nose, bro. It's, you know, it's that time of year. True. All right, we're in game. You ready? Are you ready, kid? I don't know. So Doki Doki Literature Club. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent your exposure of highly disturbing content. Well, looks like I'm out, guys. I'm not 13 yet. But do you consent? But I have to be 13, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> Listen, bro, we know I'm not steering this roller coaster <laughs> from you. So you consent. I'm just checking no, it out. I do not consent. I'm being raped. All right. Well, I consent. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah, a lot of colors. Good. Oh. Is this fun music? This game is not shootable for, not shootable for children. Not shootable. First off, uh, turning the audio down. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I'm going to turn the music down. Wow, uh, there. Remember, I'm listening through Discord, not your stream, so I don't know what your stream sounds like. Oh, the stream's ended on Discord. Great. Hello? Hello? You stopped your stream in Discord. I didn't, on purpose. You, you did, though. Not on purpose. <laughs> just telling you it happened. Can you see it? I just, I can now. Stream's been paused in Discord. What are you, what are you doing? I don't know. Shit. Can you see it? Now it's regular, but you keep fucking with shit. And it's if I click into the other monitor, it'll pause the stream in Discord. Correct. So why do you need to click into the other monitor? Because I needed to start the stream again <laughs> in the Discord. You are the worst at this. Text speed. I'll do that halfway. Wow, it is loud. I turn the sound volume down a little bit. <sighs> New game. What should our name be? I don't know. I don't play that character. Should it be Dylan? Dilly Dill? What do you think? I think that's a dumb name. What should there be? It's up to you. Oh my god, dude. Bro, it it I, I don't know what you want from me. I'm a boy. <laughs> Unless it's participation! I am this is your character. This is not my character. If you want to name him Dilly Dill, fine. I still think it's dumb. <laughs> Alright. God. <laughs> you wanna name it? Alright. Just trying to drink my tea so I don't lose my voice. Okay, when I do these ridiculous about, voices in this two-hour read. How, how about what is J this, a table read for Parks and Rec, the finale? Jesus. How about J-Rock? Then you have to talk like J-Rock every time. I don't have time. to talk like J-Rock. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> Maybe choose that name wisely, bro, because you're going to have to read every line from the character and the narrator as J-Rock. And you spelled it wrong. It's J to the R O C. They don't K in that fucking name. Everything just reset. Yeah, yeah. Everything reset. I switch monitors on me. Uh -oh. No, it shouldn't be J Rob. Just a 
But delete it all. Get, get rid okay, it's paused again. Yep, bunch of stuff moved. Alright. So delete it all. Get the JR off of there. It's like it's his first stream. It's crazy. Um, it's either, your name should either be Peter or or test subject one. <laughs> it's going to be Peter. Exhibit A. With the eye, ladies. That's how a real man spells it. Um. Who's question mark? <laughs> I don't know. Hey. Now what? This is definitely you. This is I definitely like this is the the, the narrator. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. <laughs> you know the kind of friend <laughs> you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. <laughs> we used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. If she's going to chase me after this, I must feel better I just off. Lost all the sound. Running away. The stream paused again. Okay. I was gonna stream it again. End it? Oh my god, this is terrible. Look at that sexy piece. All right. We're gonna Why do windowed. Being... Why is this being so shitty? There. Oh, you went full screen instead of window? Rookie move. Apparently. <laughs> Alright. But if she's gonna chase me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk. Let's say Ori catch up to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. It's a I almost slept again. But I caught you this time! Maybe. <laughs> that's me. It's like, I only... <laughs> no, that's you. That's you. Sorry. That's me. Sorry. I was on a roll. I just got going. <laughs> you did. Maybe. Watching your face. Wait, time out. Watching your face while I read is hard, bro. It's hard to oh keep it going because I see you just losing it in the corner of my eye as I'm reading. It's because, I'm of, her, I, it's because of this character's face with the voice that you did. Okay, maybe, but only because I decided in, to stop and wait for you. <laughs> you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Peter! Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're like a couple or something. <laughs> fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. <laughs> Whatever you say, Sayori. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled uh, with other students making their day to go with, with blood. They become increasingly speckled with blood. Oh. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> oh, by the way, Peter. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? Nani? <laughs> I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. Flips hair like an emo kid. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really been looking either. Ah, true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? <laughs> I saw that happen, bro. 
No need. I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of your one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting uh, getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. I really want you to be like reading the narrator part while looking into the camera like it's breaking the fourth wall, <laughs> like you're Malcolm in the middle. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What's a neat? I'm just reading the lines, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you trust me, right? <laughs> Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right. All right. Look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. You at least promise me you'll try a little. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. This is so stupid. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a care free girl? I don't know, bro. No idea. Did you tone it down? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me <laughs> makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Oh. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Cute Cody. Hello. <laughs> Sayori? Sasuke? Sasuke? <laughs> Say Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out the classroom. But I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I can't hear. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me, it's, if it's not going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, uh, <laughs> that you could come join my club! <laughs> Sayori? Yeah. There is no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> Mimi? Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware she had any interest in literature. In fact, about 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. So she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club. She inherited the title... Vice President. That said, my interest in the literature club is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the uh, the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you, Why care, do so you care so much? Oh, that's you. Why do you care so much anyway? <laughs> well, I came to the club yesterday. I'll bring in new member. <laughs> and Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. 
I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake. Okay. Yes, let's go! <laughs> oh, the whole way. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year. Oh, classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone? <laughs> the new member is here. I told you don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Oh, Jesus. Who is this one? My God, this I, don't... I don't know which voice he is. Just, okay. just read it normal, and then once we find out our name, we'll switch the voices. Okay. Like, that? Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? That, Where to I kill the... That's Monica. I think that's Monica. Where to, <laughs> kill, the... Where to kill the atmosphere? <laughs> ah! Peter, what a nice surprise. <laughs> Welcome to the Ron club. Ah, dude. Ron, ah, dude. Ah! <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> All words escape me in this situation. Whoa, look at green eyes. Holy shit. Okay. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. I like purple eyes myself. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. So sorry. Natsuki. Oh, that's Natsuki. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's you and that's supposed to be Navi. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? <laughs> is this the high pitched country? Humph! <laughs> no, this must be Navi from Zelda. That's the Navi. Co I'm, I'm combining the two. Oh, boo. What? <laughs> the, girl, <laughs> the girl with You're the right. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. It's kind of weird. She also is the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. <laughs> Sayori says that quietly into my ear. Oh, and then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this Natsuki, always full energy. And this is Yuri, smartest in club. You're dropping words, bro. <laughs> On purpose, bro. It's part of You're Yuri, this is the Russian. This is the Russian. Don't say things like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yuri, <laughs> who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's great to see you, Emperor. Monica. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. We do not know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. It really makes sense I'm playing her. <laughs> Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Peter! We've made room for you at table, so you can sit next to me on Monica. I'll get cupcakes. Hi, I'll buy them. I'll get them. That's too much. That's too much. What do you mean? It's too much. How is that too much? It fucking, fucking hurt my ears. But what you're doing is not too much. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little cider. <laughs> okay. It's hard to switch between them so much. I know. All right, all right. <laughs> then how about to make some tea as well? Okay, that's not even right. It's, then how about I make some tea? Then how about I make some tea as well? 
<laughs> Why does it have to be a high-pitched Russian voice? It, just do your, like, just no. do your Russian voice. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> then how about I make some tea as well? <laughs> That's why you keep, you keep right there. Light in nice <laughs> neutral zone. <laughs> okay. The girls have a few deaths arranged to form a table. If you want me to pick narrator up, we can do that. I say, <laughs> would you prefer <laughs> that? What? No, because like it feels like you're having trouble transitioning. We'll get, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. All right, hold on. If it, if it's, if it goes off the rails, we'll switch. We'll swap it out. Right. As I already mentioned, it's been widened. Nice, so that there is no one space next to Monica and one space. Why isn't for easier feet? <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. I'm gonna turn on the, the music. The music's kind of annoying. No, dude, it's ambiance. Still feeling awkward, I take a next to seat, seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki lifts a foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! <laughs> I had no idea you're <laughs> so good at baking, that's okay. Uh, well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. <clears throat> it's delicious! <laughs> See? <laughs> They already talked with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for, for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. Ooh, ooh. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Wow, this is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Oh, that was the thought still. Made them for you or anything? Eh, I thought you would say. You technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you know, dummy. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I give up yeah, on that Suki. Yeah, no cupcake? No. Be cooler if you did. <laughs> <laughs> Give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. <laughs> Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. <laughs> After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Don't let yourself get intimidated. I was just trying to impress you. It's not the... Uh, insulted. Hello world, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I feel like I'm missing chat. I don't see any chat, to be honest. Yeah. Hello world, thank you so much for the follow. I'm gonna refresh your screen first. And give me some I feel like I'm... It's not loading in OBS, maybe. I know you're in slow mode right now. I don't know if that makes a difference. That's the only thing I can tell. Fair. Mango Man is me. Okay. That's all Hello World said. Yeah. There I'm we go. Mango Man. I don't you're know Mango Man? Man? Alright. Welcome in, Mango Man. We, we, we haven't gotten there yet, but whatever. I've never played, so that's a spoiler. Uh, I don't know. We're working on it, though. Give, give me one sec before you before we go on. How do right. I view in modded mode here? Did you make me a mod? Yeah, I think it's. Actually, I don't know. That says I'm a mod. Oh yeah, here we go. I found it. I found it. All right, I'm watching in mod view. So like, if we get anybody um who 
gives any spoilers, you're gonna get uh, timed out. Just FYI. All right, Yuri, go ahead. All right. I meant that you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading may might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy the tea. I'm glad. <laughs> Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be Amparo. Batman dies in game. Fuck. Damn it, hello world. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make you we'll make sure you feel alright Okay. As president of the literature club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Yo, BDL, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. What's what's wrong, Beefy? What's wrong? What, Beefy, you don't like my Monica voice, dude? Heck, you guy. Do you want to get in here? Beefy, do you want to take over? No, don't, 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 don't fucking all right, all right, all right, all right. Jesus, Aren't you fighting you everybody. There's only so many characters, dude. You've invited like seven I'll make a mango people. pan pro. You want it, bro? I don't you know what that means. I don't know what that means. Weren't you a leader of a debate club last year? <laughs> well, I mean, you know. <laughs> to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around my major club. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget. Let's say, how to put our fans. <laughs> <laughs> I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it, you know, like literature. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream in all books and stuff. <laughs> Monica, really great leader. <laughs> Yuri also nods in agreement. You don't have to read that. I like doing that voice, though. <laughs> then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. Uh, you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting on all the effort to start something brand new. Speaking of starting something brand new, Beefy, what made you want to stream this? Uh, as part of my new series, Games I Don't Want to Play. We just play games that I don't ever really want to play, and then we'll play through them. Try to make the most of it. Thank you thank you for this reminder. We played out last last time, and now this one. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like a letter <laughs> You have to work hard, okay? To convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Okay? Like the full pack. But it makes school events, like festivals and that kind of stuff, like so much more fun and important, you know? I'm confident that we can all really grow this club, like huge, before we graduate. Like massive. Right, everyone? Right? <laughs> yeah! We'll do our best. <laughs> you know it! Everybody enthusiastically agrees. I'd like to take time out for a second. Time out for a second. I, I feel like your impression of the the western style voice is just yelling. Like, that's all. <laughs> like, you kind of have to yell voice. to get kind of in the mood, you know? <laughs> Peter just thinks all women from the south are <laughs> super loud, bro. Anyway, go ahead. Grow the club big like Shrek's pee pee. We're working on it, hello world. We are working on it. Tommy sounds like he can suck a mean cock. Damn, baby. 
You would know. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the, the idea of a new member joining. Though I really don't know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Peter, what kind of things do you like to read? Do you like Tchaikovsky? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. M manga? <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you say it? Is it manga? Yeah, but what the fuck? Why is that the end? I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. <laughs> Manga? Natsuki said. Natsuki, what? Nani? <laughs> Natsuki. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. What's up, Jeremy? Oh, Doki Doki, 10 out of 10. I've never played, we'll find out. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad, f sad smile. Anyway, what about uh, you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri really traces. The marks. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri traces the. I room. like the novels of Joseph Stalin. <laughs> well, you're in for a treat. I hope so. I hope so. Uh -oh, not manga. Mango. I turn myself down. I heard it's disturbing. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally as impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obviously by the way her lies light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as... Well, isn't it as amazing as a writer can be so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination, completely throw you for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Why are you talking in a Russian accent? Because her name's Yuri. What do you mean? That is Yuri's voice. Okay? <laughs> you don't like it? All right? That's your problem. I have a very small um, amount of Genius. accents I can, do. <laughs> I can do. Hello, world. Thank you so much for the bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read. Oh, shit. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp. I can relate at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <clears throat> really? I wouldn't expect that, alright? <laughs> or someone as gentle as, yeah. I guess. <laughs> You're saying the Russian girl is the softest one? I guess you could say that. <laughs> but if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. She's definitely not Russian. She absolutely is. Her name's Yuri, BP. Get on the B train. BP, interpret your own shit, guy. Okay? <laughs> Ugh, I hate horror. <laughs> Always lit. Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like write about kid things, don't you, Natsuki? Wait, what? What gives you that idea? Uh, you left a piece of scrap paper behind that last club meeting? It looked like you were working on a poem called, um... Don't say it out loud. And give it back. Fire, fire, God. <laughs> <laughs> Your cupcakes! Your ball! <laughs> Do it just as you are. 
Sayori slides. Whoa, Sayori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. And a little that's that's a that's a little creepy Joe action. <laughs> Natsuki, you you write your own poems? Hey, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki hurts <laughs> her eyes. No. Fucking <laughs> okay, done, bro. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet, I see. I understand how Natsuki feels. <laughs> Sharing what level of writing takes more than just confidence. True's form of writing is writing to oneself. <laughs> you must be willing to open up to, but to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yari? Maybe I just share some of your work. You can set an example for like not seek it and make her feel comfortable enough to start her. Triple dots. <laughs> <laughs> you read triple dots. That was good. That was good. That was good. I guess it's the same for y for Yuri. Are you say Yuri? Sorry, I was wiping my nose here. Are oh, you good? Ah. I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Telephone. No. <laughs> Question mark. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. And then next time we meet, we're all going to share them with one another. What do you think? Good, right? That way, everyone's even. Um. Triple dots. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Let's do it! <clears throat> Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all. Get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Peter's losing it. Fucking dying, dude. This is exactly what I wanted it to be. <laughs> and I'm Isn't so that right, Peter? <laughs> this makes me so happy. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. I want you to know every time it says that, I'm smiling warmly at you. <laughs> I want you to think of that every time. Uh, wait, hold on. There's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forward with what's been on my mind the entire time. I actually never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never actually made a decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and uh, I lost my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Whoa, they're all looking this way. What? But... I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> huh? you, you are... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend time every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yeah! <laughs> I'm so happy! Story wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If y'all really came here just for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. She's definitely the western one. She's definitely. That's the voice I want every time. I'd be super pissed. <laughs> well, then that makes it... Damn it, now I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole. 
Okay, then that makes it official! Welcome to the Literature Club! Yay! <laughs> ah, thanks. I guess. Okay, everyone. <laughs> that was the whole line. I was like waiting for you to say more. All right. Sorry. Okay, everyone. I think that with that, we can officially end today's club meeting on a great note. <laughs> everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so that we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Peter, I look... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Peter? I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> I didn't know what direction you were going to take that. Yeah. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Can I share my poem first? It's about mangoes. In the chat, you want to share it? I mean, the chat is yours. Is that mangoes or mangoes? <laughs> I already feel my anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up the food. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing ambient noise? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was, that's what that was. Hey, Peter! <laughs> Since Dude, you can't, like, fuck. Since we're already here, you want to walk home together? Alright, you're gonna share? Alright, hello world. Shit. That's right, Sayori and I never walked home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for the clubs. Sure, I might as well. Mangoes, they're great. Little are grateful. Those that aren't pitiful. I shone a light, a bright light. I shone a light on the art of mango. Some understood, most didn't. They need to understand the love for mangoes. It's an ever burning love for mangoes. Mangoes. There's something that's really bothering me. I don't think mangoes has an E in it. Thank you for the bit. Hello, world. <laughs> for one. Let me just look this up. Does mangoes have an E in it? No, it doesn't. It's it's just OS. I can't decide if this is like a part of the game later. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm wrong. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, what are we doing? With that, the two of us depart the club room. And thank you for sharing, by the way. I still don't know how if that if that's part of the game later or not. I'm a little... Fucking mango. If this is the if this if that's the poem, hello world, if that's the poem that he actually writes, and that's what we end up reading, I'm gonna ban you for a day. <laughs> With that the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Hey. <laughs> Will I really be happy spending every single day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of the girls. All, All right! right. <laughs> Party time in the literature club. I will just need to make most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess it starts with writing a poem tonight. You really gonna ban Mango Man? Not Mango Man approved. <laughs> Hey, bro, you want to see the sword next to my name that doesn't give a fuck? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, right. that's the poem that, that he writes? Oh, wait, you actually have to write one? Oh, I oh, think I think we got to start with Cheeks, right? That's up to you. This is your poem, dude. Cheeks. Also, what's with the little, what's with the little girls underneath? I don't know. What is this? Oh, is, is each one jumping, like, who enjoys the poem the most? Are they going to move up and down the page? So who do you want to impress the most of these girls? I don't know. I don't know enough about them. Well, I mean, you got even you do the you do the thing. Do you do you want the country girl? Do you want the uh, Russian chick, or do you want? I want the, sh uh, I want shame, Yuri. That seems right. Boop. No. 
Fickle. When girl jump, word happy. But they all move. You have been emote this week. I am not going into a school. Shopping list girl is funny. What the fuck? I don't is know. He, is he speaking English? I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's part of the game. Probably. <laughs> All right. Sugar, spice, everything nice. No, wait. Rainbow. Think should... Melody. No. Rainbow. Dark. Rainbow. Pay. <laughs> <laughs> Suffering. Milk? Night. The Night world game. shall burn. Right, though. <laughs> Natsuki says shopping list girl. Fluff. Lollipop. Fireflies. Kawaii. All right. Okay. That, that does it. <laughs> Doki. Doki oh, Doki. nibble. Nibble. No, nibble. wait. Yeah. Poof. Nibble. Fester. Fester. <laughs> Climax. Yes. <laughs> no time. Contamination was on that. Fantasy. Extreme. <laughs> why, are you, why are you running through these? I'm just going with a gut feeling. Hop, cry, candy, vivacious. Yes. Tenacious? Essence. <laughs> okay, essence. <laughs> Natsu Natsuki's poem looks like a shopping list. Oh, 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 I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Secretive, uncanny, captive, pleasure. pleasure. Heartbeat. Uh, Memories. Email. <laughs> Let's throw it in there. Kitty! Incongruent? What? Aura. Spinning? <laughs> I liked aura. Explode. Massacre. <laughs> massacre. Depression. <laughs> massacre. Sticky. <Vertigo. laughs> you would go to sticky. Gross <laughs> Cage. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh my god. Suicide. Agonizing. Pain. <laughs> Bubbles. No. Lipstick. Inferno. <laughs> Clumsy. Papa. Papa? Papi? Papa? Papa? <laughs> Papa? 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 Romance. Determinate treasure. Papa? Rose. Meager. Papa? Alone. Papa. Papa? 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 Right, Papa? I'm really excited for this poem. That's how, that's how we ended with Papa, dude. Oh, my God. All right. You're in it. Hi again, Peter. <laughs> Glad oh. to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thank you for keeping your promise, Peter. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Hey, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come in here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. And that's for damn sure. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Bitch. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops. Not in Australia, it isn't! <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, what a guy! Don't get attached to Russian girl. She likes essential oils. I don't know what this means. Who doesn't? Right. I can make another makeup book, I swear. <laughs> I'm ready for it. Peter always get his best, as long as he have fun. <laughs> he helped me with busy work without even asking. <laughs> like cooking, clean my room. How dependable. Like hammer and seek. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. 
Is that so? You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh. Well, we will. How come? Your Peter can be good friends too. <laughs> um. <laughs> say, say sorry. <laughs> Triple dots. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she's just put me into. Oh, oh. Uh, you even brought you something today, you know. Wait, wait, Sayori. Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, ah, sorry. Yuri, I, I was thinking. <laughs> I guess that's me. It's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't, uh, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Here he reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked up, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so I should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. We could, you this know... Is, this is autobiography of Joseph Stalin. For titled, you. The Boss. <laughs> this, this titled, One for All, All for All. <laughs> autobiography of Joseph Stalin. This goes in if you want. <laughs> this this is how is this girl accidentally being so cute? Even she even picked out a book she thinks I like. Despite me not reading that much, Yuri, thank you. I'll I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Scala bastard, what the fuck did I walk into and why is it so glorious? This is the kind of shit the Australian government just banned as import. That's what she just walked into. Why is it so glorious? Because Tommy and I are playing four female roles. Technically and... five because Peter's playing himself. Oh, burn, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is Yuri. She's Russian. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. <laughs> now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression. Like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious. Where did the screen go? I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a bit more. Oh, well. But at the same time, I would feel bad from distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. <laughs> One for All and All for All by Joseph Stalin. You like that? <laughs> that was on the top of the dome, too. That was good. <laughs> More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Slow-ass reader. Yo, hello, world. Thank you so much for the bit, man. I appreciate it. Yuri says, ah, uh, crap. Oh, wait. <laughs> I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. Dot, dot, dot. One shining. <laughs> that only makes her hide her face deeper into the book. S Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... And in this Russia, you must stay focused on <laughs> Oxcast, this is Doki Doki Literature Club. People say it's weird and disturbing. We don't really believe it. So we've made it part of our series. Games I don't want to... If it isn't weird and disturbing, we're going to make it weird and disturbing. <laughs> God damn it. We will part... see where others have failed. 
It's part of the new series games I don't want to play where we just play games that we don't want to play. And we're playing all four female lead characters with different voices. It's Thomas and I in here now. And, uh, and next week is Destiny 2. <laughs> <laughs> next to the Endgame. End <laughs> Never mind. But I'm just reading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm -hmm. I wanted to read, read some of it. Not for any particular reason. I'm just curious how you have two copies of the same book. This writing is so bad. Ah. Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's weird. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. They're underage, remember that. And that made it weird. But good call. Who said that? Hello, world. I'm Bannon. No. <laughs> Russian Yuri, huh? Yeah, her name's Yuri. I figured I'd play her as a Russian. Makes sense, bro. Don't look too far in. Oh my gosh, the book is titled Portrait of Markov? Wait. This number of two men in Stalin's house of dictators. Portrait of Markov what? is the name of the book. Have you read this book before? No, but Markov before? sounds like a Russian name. There's an ominous looking eye the, symbol on the... Uh, <laughs> this is tale of all of the secret spy agencies in Stalingrad that kill many who do not believe in Hammer Sickle lifestyle. <laughs> That's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. All right. I just want to make sure I don't actually give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets very, very strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. While her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of, uh, kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri know, made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> this gentle darkness reminds me of Gulag summer. <laughs> Summers in Gulag. When we summered in Gulag. <laughs> summered in Gulag. There it is. There it is. Well, winter in Moscow is much more mild. <laughs> Banning Mango Man is not Mango Man approved. No one's been banned yet. We're all chilling. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Peter? It's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy this kinds of story, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those weirdo things. She's also so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be different. Completely different. It's just... That those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. And they remind me of homeland. <laughs> <laughs> when we summer in Siberia. <laughs> when horrible things... Oops, you, when horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. They do not believe in the <laughs> philosophy of Mother Russia. This is why horrible things happen. <laughs> Then suddenly you thought you related to the protagonist that made out to be the naive one for letting one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I am sorry. Hey, don't apologize! I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's okay then. I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writings fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something. Strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. At least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah. That's... That's true. In fact, might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> that was so stupid. 
<laughs> just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Dot, dot, dot. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> you seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not like that. I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in the company of someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. <laughs> I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do. I don't mean to. Sorry. I mean... Ha <laughs> ha. This should work, right? I slide my desk. It's up against Yuri's. Oh? Then hold my book more between the two of them. <laughs> Why does the brain ex ignore the second though? I don't know. Question. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that. Uh, that's all, folks. I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Feels like my left arm is in a way, so I instead of use my right hand to open the book. <laughs> I guess that makes it difficult to turn the page. Here. <laughs> oh. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after flips it to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. I can feel the heat of the bosom. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> Bosom's cold like, like summers in Siberia. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? <laughs> to turn the page? Ah, sorry. I think I get a little bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it of my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page feels like an, an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... <sighs> the main character reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? <laughs> How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. <clears throat> Man, I need to drink some water. I didn't know the first act was all you and Yuri talked. <laughs> Not either. <sighs> but she also second guesses all the other things that she says and does. Like, she's afraid to do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but... Kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I see. You remain silent for a moment. But Peter, it's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Ugh, that's so embarrassing. But you think that. Wait. I gotta go. All right, hello world. Thanks so much for popping in, man. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the Bye, poems. World. Have an awesome night or day, depending on where you are. I appreciate it. And thank you for the follow, man. Play him out, Johnny. Mango Man loves you. Remember that. All right. Who doesn't like mangoes? I do love mango. No homo. It could be all homo. It's 2020. Let it ride. Put it in my mouth. What? <laughs> Thanks for the pets, man. Thank you for the ball. I appreciate it. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry. Oh, wait, shit. Oh, fuck. How do I go back? It's too Can late. Back? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> You can't go back. Oh, you can't go game? back. You know, you click history, don't you? Oh. Yeah. I didn't mean it bad or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know. Right? I didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. 
After we're here. Go to history. I, yeah, we, we got it. We got it. We got it. We found it. I guess that mean, meant more. Sit story. Kind of cute. Ah. Uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? Uh, exclamation point. Oh. Okay, everyone. <laughs> ah. I think it's about time we start to dance pums with each other. Might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Uh. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. <sighs> Is that all right? You kind of look down. Sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. All right. Guess we'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit. You know? It's good reasoning. In that case, oh shit. Feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. Make a mental note of where I left off in the book. Slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. <laughs> well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to shower with? Get away! <laughs> Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yur reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? It's up to you, bro. <clears throat> Starting with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi, Petter. <laughs> Having a good time? Uh, yeah. So I hear. Good, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> By the way, since you're new and everything. Do you hold your hand out that way, like she does? Yeah, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> it's like, in character. If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like activities, things we can do better, new snacks... <laughs> I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow do you do that? until I'm more settled in. Anyway, like, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible, bro. I don't like this. I'm too far in. I'm too far into the character. I gotta get out. <laughs> You become a method actor, dude. <laughs> Fucking Monica from Valley High, dude. <laughs> it's the best of both. Well, um, <laughs> don't too, worry. I'm too far. <laughs> too far. <laughs> too far. Oh my god. We're <laughs> <laughs> all embarrassed today, huh? Yeah? That sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past this year, you know? Like, we're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. <laughs> mm hmm. Great job, Peter. I give this one an S. Plus. <laughs> Is that for super plus? Yeah. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Making that up, catch the line. 
<laughs> I thought you just said that. I uh, did say it. I know, but I didn't think <laughs> it was. I did say it. All right, my face hurts. All right. It's really, um, like, metamorphical? Is that a word? <laughs> Metaphorical. I like my version better. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like the way I said it better. I think it's... Yo, this is 30. All right, we're doing this? Let's, go, let's keep it going. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect this from you. You go deep. I guess I uh, underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way. <laughs> this was written for you. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. This, is, this is, list part was written for you, dude. They call me like, we, get, we need to have Peter. Oh. That's who we need. <laughs> Stephen King was like, I want Peter in this role. That is really funny. <laughs> That's not very fair, Peter. <laughs> well, I guess it worked, you sly devil. <laughs> You know what? Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Maybe you guys shouldn't get my own. <laughs> writing that's full. Of, <laughs> writing that's full of imagery and uh, symbolism. You know, with the pictures. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, because you know she's a little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meanings, like mysterious shit. <laughs> it's very challenging to write like that effectively, it's impressive. But allowing people to get something out of it, just by feel? Or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri's has at this point, because that bitch has been doing this for <laughs> You heard she summered in the gulag? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I never asked that. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. <sighs> Don't worry so much about that. You do you, girl. Hold on. I gotta adjust the cam a little bit. There we go. I think you're up. Just keep, just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. Sorry about that. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this, you know? Hey, that's okay. <laughs> I'd love to see you try new things. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best way to find that kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles. You know, like fire style or water style, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to. Right, you know. <laughs> to write. I forgot. <laughs> it's like, it's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Like, fuck those guys. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, Pete, you got a person named get affiliated underscore now in your chat, and I feel like I could just remove them. What do you think? They haven't said anything, yeah, right? The name is get affiliated now, though. Like, what? <laughs> All right, I'll keep an eye on them though. I'll keep uh, an eye on them though. Or let's do this underscore streamers. 
That's two that are a sound like bots, so I'll keep an eye out for that. Anyway, <laughs> you want to read my poem now? You're still up. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's... Because I have to sound confident, okay? I am the president. <laughs> Doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Like, people don't ask me about me. They just care about the clock. I see. Let's read it then. Oh, shit. Do you want to read it? Or do you want to read it? I mean, should it be in my oh, voice? Oh, right, 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 because I'm reading it. <laughs> or should <sighs> it be in your voice? Holy... Hole in wall. We'll do a British voice for read the poems. Hole in wall. Right, I'll, I'll read it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll, let, let me let me do this. Let me, let me do this. Hole in wall. <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't have been me. See direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't him. Appearance life for a clue. Nope. Can't see. I real blind. Like a film left out in the sun, Mary Poppins. <laughs> but it's too late, my retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of that meaningless image. Just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. And he, on the other side. What the fuck, where'd it go? Was looking in. <laughs> so it moved and I was like, I was trying to scroll like, down for it. it. No. Yeah. <laughs> Continue outside poem. Oh, wait, is that it? Is that the whole thing? That's There's three lines below the. I can only see, and he on the other side was looking in. That's oh, okay. I can okay. See. <laughs> Oxcast is excellent. I'm on the river tops right now. <laughs> the river Thames? <laughs> It's the River Thames, bro. Why did I think it was? Th why would I think it was Tom? Clip it, clip it, clip it, clip it. Lack of historical knowledge. Clip it. There's one that's spelled, <laughs> and it's it's pronounced differently than the way it's spelled. I thought it was that one. And my society I mean, like, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform. It's pronounced teams. The river teams. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought uh, it was like weird. No. Like a like an odd pronunciation. Oh. Anyway. It's very freeform. That's I don't know. what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback on this. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. I want to my own heart. That is, of lot of poems, I've been putting emphasis on the timing between words and line. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. As seen by Hawksgast being transported to another area. <laughs> so let me ask you, what was the inspiration behind this one? Uh... Well... I'm not sure if I know how to put it. Um, I'm trying to say is like, um, I guess you could say that I had some kind of an epiphany recently. It's been, uh, it's been influencing my palms quite a bit. Yeah. An epiphany? No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, uh, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about like deep stuff, you know, because it's it's kind of coming on strong, you know, like I can't control it. Maybe after everyone is like, you know, better friends with each other. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. <laughs> uh. 
Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, you will never make any progress. Just force yourself to, you know, get something down on that paper. And, you know, tidy up later. Another way to think about it is, like... If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just get a big dark puddle of ink. Gross. <laughs> just move your hand and like go with the flow. Like my boyfriend Trevor does, right? Like, <laughs> go with the flow. Trevor. That's my advice for the day. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Tune in next week. <laughs> All right, I'll do one of my characters because I think these are going to be long. <laughs> uh... Oh, my stars. What? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. That's you. Too. Oh, shit. Oh, let's go back to history. That's, <laughs> That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said I was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotion. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes? Oh, burn! <laughs> Do you want to get smacked? This is definitely the girl in the class you'd be going after right here. <laughs> Trying to get smacked. I like her. <laughs> yes. I like her. <laughs> I'll uh, pass. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Now that you'll like it. <laughs> Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Yeah. I told you you weren't going to like it. Pretty garbage, <laughs> this girl's dumb. I like it. What? Just be honest. I'm just, uh, wait, I'm just looking at chat for a second. Wait, before we move past this. Okay, I'm just making sure that nobody in here is going to. Okay, this has got real Lexi vibes, dog. <laughs> Let it roll. Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even give my writing seriously. Don't even take it. That, uh, moving on. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard right in the head. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be very disheartening. I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up before, a rhyme at the end, but they made it fall flat on purpose, right on its face. It helps bring out the feeling. <laughs> it helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I get. Oh shit. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, <laughs> did you? Right I w <laughs> Look at her face right now. I oh yeah, I will be the first <laughs> okay. Also, why does she have one tooth poking out? Maybe that's the only one she's got. <laughs> <laughs> not so you got Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor with her on the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. All right, do you want to hear me for Sayori? It's up to you, bro. You pick. All right, We're, we'll swap. Tut, tut, tut. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good poem, Peter. Are you sure this first time? Of course. Not that good. 
Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time here? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why you impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid you wouldn't take seriously. But you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy you wrote one. This is my like childhood friend, right? Yeah. It just reminds me how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> Idiot. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll, I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Peter. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Try new things like this for other people. That's something only real good people do. <laughs> Thanks, Sayor. There's the guy low down the field. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. And again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? <laughs> that would be my way of thanking you. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yeah! <laughs> He's just clapping real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad. <laughs> We'll see about that. What voice are you gonna do? <laughs> Wait, oh, what? No, what happened? You clicked away from it. No! You clicked away from it. Is there no way to go look at it? No, you clicked away from it. Oh. You didn't save. Alright. Alright. It's okay. Sayori? Can I can I rewind your stream and read it? No, I can't. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? Oh, that sounds funny. What? <laughs> no. Oh no, I have to click. A little bit. <laughs> can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. What did I do last night? Well, well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. <laughs> I try my best. Ah, yeah. I, I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. Came out nice. <laughs> How should I put it? It just sounds a lot like you. I'm gonna kick you in dumplings. <laughs> really? Yeah. Especially that last line, which we didn't see. Oh, you mean turn tall? <laughs> Even though wait, you no, were like... Wait, to go back. wait, quick history, quick history. <sighs> I'm at eggs and toast? <laughs> Even though you were late to school. Breakfast. <laughs> Most important meal of day. Tony Tiger. I get cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. So much fun. Monica's best. You can say all the words. <laughs> ah, it's, yeah. It's better if I don't. It's, it's better if I don't. But next time, I won't forget. Mm -mm. And I'm gonna write best poem ever. 
I think I think you should say all the words in the sentence. Why? 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 I don't know, man. Uh, you think it's I'm going too far? <laughs> I would just say you think I'm going too far? I think it's right on the edge. Right, I think it's right on the oh, edge. It's gonna take a lot away. It's gonna take a lot away from the character. It's gonna take a lot away from the character. Now you got the Russian folks. <laughs> Or is this just going to be like sad words? As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Yeah? Oh. What was that? I'm getting, teased. I'm getting teased. I'm getting teased. So if you get to the end of this. Let's wait. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hang tight. Question mark. Did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Oh. Uh. He's going to hate me. Um. You, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Ugh. It's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Ha ha ha. Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow. That's a huge compliment coming from you. It was actually for my first time, really. Huh? Here he stares at me blankly and looks at my poem again. Doot doot doot. Well, I know that. I just meant dumb. Here he trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in her poem as if it's breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick it up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick writing styles separate from the topic matter, and they form the two together. The end result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone. She sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. What's up, Jairus? I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuke. Mind if I read your poem now? Please do. Jairus, you finished your stream already? Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for you. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Shards and cursive. What's up, Goblin? Uh, how am I liking it so far? Well, Tommy's in here too, and we're doing all the voices, just the two of us. And uh, I think us doing these voices is funny. So I think that's the fun part. Nothing weird has happened in the game yet. I don't know what happens, but I'm kind of like ready for something to happen. So also, I didn't know talking this much was going to... Like, I feel like I need a lozenge or something. Because we're doing these different accents. And it's, uh, I feel like I'm going to lose my voice by tomorrow. We're also doing the, okay, so we have like a, a Valley Girl accent, a Russian accent, a, like a Japanese accent, and a, uh, Super Japanese accent. Super Japanese. Accent. In a western. In a western. It's a slow build, but it's wild. Def need lots of drinks. Well, we're going to get through yeah. this. <laughs> and, and by the way, what do you mean nothing wild's happened? We found out Yuri Summers in the gulag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're reading poem. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time 
The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green <laughs> of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Dot. 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 It's a slow build. Alright. I'm sorry I have such terrible... Oh! Donut! What in the Freddy Krueger burn face is going on here? Oh, you wait and see, son. Cody, thank you for the tier 2 sub for 10 months, man. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're playing Doki Doki. Do you not know? I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you so long time to read. Ah. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Ugh. That's a relief. Ugh. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. Uh, I usually write longer. No, not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. It's the first time sh sharing. I wanted to write something more mild. Something easy to digest. I suppose. Like a smooth potato vodka. Are <laughs> This is my next sentence. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> 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 Actually, the story isn't about the ghost at all, Peter. Really? You must have totally missed the point. Oh shit, same voice. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all, but remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. Cody, thank you for the 10 months, by the way. Shout out. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in a last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, soon to be left with nothing. A lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. It's very impressive. Eh? It's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so... Eh, if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah. You know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I want to keep doing it. My best for you, Peter. Okay. Ah. Me, me too. <laughs> yeah. Phew. I guess that's everyone. Glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes... <laughs> <laughs> my eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. Oh. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyes... Furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? What's with this language? Ugh. Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk. Sweet heart. What's <laughs> on here, Butterbean? Why don't you shut up? I guess, I guess you could say it's fancy. There you go. Ah. <laughs> uh. Thanks. Yours is cute. <laughs> cute? Did you completely miss a symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language. I guess. She's trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... I do have a couple of suggestions. Huh. 
<laughs> that was good. CG decided to take a take a rain check, Cody. His work kept him a little bit longer than planned. If I, if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori loved it. And Peter did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time in Gulag establishing my writing style. <laughs> Many moons. <laughs> I don't it. I don't I expect have many moons this. This very strict writing style of this is the writing style we all use. We do not deviate from this. <laughs> I don't expect it to change anytime soon unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Peter <laughs> liked my poem too, you know. He even oh. told me he was impressed by it. Natsuka he suddenly stands up. Peter, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you so bitch, Nat. Yari. It's <laughs> she. <laughs> I'm trying. I just want her voice to be Pam from Archer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't do that one. That's a little rough for me. I didn't understand you're so best in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> eh? It's not today. Ugh. You just. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe. Uh, Maybe you're just jealous that Peter appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? Oh. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Are you fight. that full of yourself? You need Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you need the Lord's Prayer. I'll pray for you. No. I if will pray <laughs> for you, sweetheart. I will pray for you. <laughs> If I, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um. Hawks cast this hashtag need more Jesus. Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? Oh shit. I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Peter started showing up. <laughs> what the you know how many times I've seen that happen in real life? Kitty's growing out of nowhere. Peter walks in the room. Beep, there they are. <laughs> What's up, Jay? Welcome in, man. It's good to see you, man. Welcome in, welcome in. Notsuki. <laughs> Um, Natsuki, that's a little... Oh god, how do I say both at the same time? <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do, you want, do you want me to do the Russian? You do the Russian. Or, okay. One, two, three. This doesn't this involve does you. This not involve <laughs> I, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned toward me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Peter! Uh, oh, shit. Peter. <laughs> she trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate the Lord and that simple writing is more effective, then this would have happened in the first place. What's the point of making... <laughs> And America. What? <laughs> and our troops. Okay. What's the, what's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no god darn reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Some help, of them are idiots. Help me explain that to her, Peter. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! There's a... Cody! Dude. Donut. 
Thank you so much for the gifted tier one sub. The five gifted tier one sub. To the Kid X, Jeffo, Azerbea, Fizzy Turtle Rocket League, and APS Anxiety. Crazy. Cody, thank you. Very generous. You don't have to do that. Appreciate it. This is the most I've been entertained on this channel. <laughs> Cody, you realize you've been on this channel, right? Right, dog? There is a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You understand Duh. that, right? <laughs> Duh. Yeah, you do understand that, right, Peter? Um. Alright, do you want the Valor Girl this time? Or the Southern Girl? Whatever you want. You tell me what to do. Alright, you, you do the you do the southern one. Alright, you All right. count down. One, two, three. Well Well? Huh? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? Donna, thank you. It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course. That's oh shit. Wait. <laughs> Where are you going, bro? You gotta figure out who you wanna choose. You gonna choose one or you gonna ask us Sayori for help? Shout out. Oh mm. god. Should we run a poll? Can you run a poll? Let's see if I can make one here. Be very with me, I've never done this before. I've never either okay. from a I don't know if you can. You might be able to. I think I can as a mod, I think I can. I just gotta figure out how to do it. Cody, you're a mod in here now, too, by the way. The music is rough. <laughs> um, I can't, I can't figure out how to do it. Um... Settings... I could do a poll. Oh wait, I have to do it from the Twitch page. That's not worth it, dude. Just type in chat what you want. Just type in chat if you have a preference. Figure it out after stream. Oh, here we go. New poll. Question. Where did you find that? Who do we support? It's in um, Stream Manager. Oh, I don't have access to that. Who do we support? Natsuki? Yuri? Help. Me, say Yori. Duration one minute. We're starting. All right, polls live. You guys can all vote, I think. I voted. How we got about? Remember, guys, vote. 40, Hurry up. Forty seconds on the poll. Gotta vote. Three votes Yuri, one votes help me Sayori right now. I might be close to everybody in the chat. I think there's a couple more people. If they're paying attention. I think a minute's the shortest. You have a vote too, Pete. Oh. Jesus. Thank you, Cody. Thank you for the bits, oh. man. Getting the hella emotes. Ten seconds. Two seconds. Close. Yuri oh, yeah. is the winner. All right, we're helping Yuri. Uh, another win for Mother <laughs> The Red Bear. Natsuki. Natsuki. Wait, no, I didn't. I think I'm just saying Natsuki. 
Oh, fuck. You clicked the wrong one after all that. God wow. damn. <laughs> I th Say. Nope. Sorry, chat. That was literally the lowest voted one. <laughs> she didn't get any. Sorry, votes. chat. Say. Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Gary wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mm, I understand. Gary? Yeah. Duh. You're a, <laughs> you're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... uh. But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and become something really personal. I can't believe... I can't believe... The wrong fucking button. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. Duh. I didn't notice that. <laughs> I am sorry. Ooh. Duh. Whoa. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. I think they both lost, really, on this vote. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding me? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... <laughs> now, Siggy, I think that's enough. You know what they want? No refunds in the chat. Oh. It's the best thing about. <laughs> you both said some things that you didn't mean, okay? Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Okay? Now, kiss, make up, do you? <laughs> Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. I think I did click Yuri. I think I clicked the right one. To be honest. She's trapped at this point, being defined only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. I think you're up. I did it. I did uh um. Bro. Literally, the word was um. <laughs> Sometimes, when I'm hurt, it helps to uh, take walk and clean my head. <laughs> Sayori, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm gonna do just that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. You're stupid faces right now. <gasps> That warning, <gasps> Natsu <laughs> Natsuki snatches her own poem from the desk and storms out. <laughs> On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. I'm done with this poem shit. <laughs> Natsuki! She really need to do all that. Damn it, now I'm saying the fuck. Now you're... <laughs> She didn't really need to do all that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in the adjacent chair. Say. I, I imagine you doing that, but like grabbing a spare chair, flipping it around and sitting in it with the back in front yeah, of you. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like the font. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Yuri, what's wrong? <laughs> we doing this? What are we doing? Hey, what's the problem, mama? Huh? <laughs> Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No. Yuri. How could anyone no. have gotten frustrated after being Bad treated Yuri. like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right. I believe you. Thanks, Peter. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. We got Italian there just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that was weird. <laughs> I was, it, it got to access. I need more allies. Or uh, it's nothing. <laughs> nothing. One more thing. Um, That uh, one thing that, that Natsuki said. <laughs> about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, eh? What did... Natsuki say. <laughs> Exclamation point. Um. I think she'd talk about the brothers. 
Well, never mind that. I'm going to make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than tea one. Right make enough for more than one person. I'm talking two people, okay? Yeah. Double. Double D. <laughs> no, double T. <laughs> okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm a cussing Monica so much. How did you guys feel about uh, sharing your pot? It was super fun! Well, they'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Except for that bitch, Yuri. <laughs> Peter? 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 Peter, what about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk with everyone. Well, okay. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> In that case, we're going to do the same thing again tomorrow. And maybe, you know, you learn some things from your friends, too, you know? Imagination. <laughs> so your problems will turn out, like, even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. If any luck, that means I can at least do a job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination about to whoop these poems ass. Peter! <laughs> you read Walk Home? Sure, let's go. Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. Can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Ayo! <laughs> Ayo! Sayori, about what happened earlier. Uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri, Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, that's really the first time I ever seen them fight like that. <laughs> I promise, they're both great people. You don't, <sighs> you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them at all. I just wanted your opinion. That's that's it. I can see why they make good friends with you. <gasps> Who? <laughs> you know, Peter. It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. <laughs> but I think seeing you get along with everyone, it makes me happiest. Most happy. And I think everyone really likes you. Mm -hmm. That's... <laughs> a goose. <laughs> Every day gonna be so much fun. <sighs> It looks like it say yours. That would, been, that would have been better if you were like, Sai. <laughs> it looks like say. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, oh, let's so save it. Let's save it here. Okay. This is this is just a lot right now. Well, it's we've been going for two it's hours. Hard to be like a ditzy jet. It looks so right, what you have here, Chad, let's just break it down. Okay, we have ditzy Japanese chick. We have young, simple Jack uh, Western chick. We have dark, demonic Russian chick. And we have the valley girl who always gets straight as, and is definitely going to Berkeley. <laughs> like, that's what we have. And this here. is our cast. <laughs> and Peter, who's just this guy who got dragged in here like, what's up? <laughs> what's up? I like to party. <laughs> My name's Dylan. It, lo it I looks. Like to, I like to catch big waves and smoke a hell of joints. What up? All right, I say we don't go past eleven my time. Ten, it's ten twenty right now. We can always switch games too. Yeah.
It looks like Sayori. Yeah, I'm still not to play games, but I don't want to go past eleven with this one. It looks like Sayori <laughs> still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Wait, sure. What situation? Yeah, but you don't know. Sure, sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? You know what I'm saying? Well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. That should have been your cue to hit your fucking alert. <laughs> I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as internal monologue sometimes. What does that mean? Oh, what's up, Sandwich? <laughs> it's, the, it's, it's Yuri so far. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. What's up, Sandwich? Welcome in. Are we writing a new poem? Who, who do you want to impress, though? Who oh, do you want to impress? Oh, we know, oh. Our, we know our, we know our, okay, so you have, you have your Russian, your Russian doll over Yuri, here. Yuri, welcome to the party. You have your angry little Southern Belle, okay. Well, I'll be. And your Valley Girl headed to Berkeley. Hi. Um, so what are we doing? All right, so we're going all Yuri. It's like sadness, right? Or is it extreme? So, so like. Calm? It's like, it's, it's like, it's like deep you know, dark aura. Ah, uh, no, go Natsuki. Why Natsuki? Is that the move? Well, her, hers would just be it, cheeks, right? Hers would be like warm. <laughs> All right, cheeks. warm. Jump. Ocean. I think jump is simpler than her. Kitty. Milk. Kitty. <laughs> Pop. Sweet. Papa. Bouncy. Joy. joy. Pain. Yeah, joy. Pain. Pain. <laughs> Suffering. I mean, Poof! It been. Bubbles! Oh, Sing. Alyssa went dirty, so she wants us to go a different way. So now Alyssa has come in here and immediately started guiding the stream. <laughs> Great. We were... Now you're going to have to do that fucking Southern Bell voice and shit done. You know I like right? that voice of all of them. That might be my favorite one. Death. All right. All right. Kawhi. Sticky. Kawhi. No. Hey, uh, Sunny. Climax. Sunny. We're going that no matter Wait. what who it is. <laughs> Heart. Hop. Love. Love. I think, Hop. I think, it's <laughs> I think Hop's the right move. <laughs> Not Inferno? Cheer. Or... Cheer. 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 Yeah. Fluffy. <laughs> Definitely fluffy. Lazy. Clumsy. Lux. Thank you for the Clumsy. follow. Clumsy is going to be. Uh, Appreciate it. Clumsy is definitely gonna be um, Sayori. Yeah, let's go late. Let's go. La la lazy, lazy. Lazy or lazy might be Sayori too, but it might be candy. candy. Yeah, candy. Pink. Lit. No. Yeah. yeah pink. It's bad. Pink. No. Peace. No. Bad. Wait, wait, wait. Explode. Rain cloud. Rain cloud. Wait, no, that's the dark one, right? Yeah. Lux, Crimson. thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Probably better, maybe peace. I think peace. Peace. Bad? I think peace kiss. or happiness. Family, kiss, dance, kiss. Fun. Feather. Just fun. Rose. Bunny, definitely bunny. Tommy knows his girls. <laughs> Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. You know me well, Alyssa. Hi, Peter! <laughs> oh my god. Yo, Sayori! Looks like you're in a good mood Super today. I used to being in club, that's all. <laughs> I see. Oh, shit. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simplest things with you, anyway. Speaking which, <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, B. I'm good. Good. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Th 
that's not make you at all. <laughs> I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Aori? <laughs> what is happening in this game? Uh, why? Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just want to look at it. <laughs> Waffle fries. Free. Unforgivable. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then, little frog from Naruto. <laughs> why does Tommy sound like a racist ma making an Asian accent? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Then she turns it upside down and lets the contents spill out onto the desk. Only wait, wait a minute. Time out. Time out. Why do I have to be a racist making an Asian accent? Why can't I just be a guy trying to make a stereotypical anime Asian accent? Why? Why do I have to be a racist? I don't, I don't like that. We're just having fun here. Don't, don't, don't bring, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. It's not fair. What do How I do you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk... Or you plan to conveniently. Of course, I'm making fun. Have you seen this game, Sandwich? <laughs> have you heard any of the voices that we do for these characters? Of course, we're making fun of it. We do have voices for all the characters. Or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing you're always hungry. <laughs> Damn. By the way, let's go. That's three red cards. Impossible. <laughs> and so that only leaves one option. What? <laughs> you played it for nine hours straight? Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's so intense. Did you kill yourself when you were done? <laughs> Jesus. We're at over two and I'm getting there. <laughs> What's your line? I said it. Uh -oh. I, said, I give up. <laughs> Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, you better give him red cards for this shit. <laughs> Here he suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. How do you not? It's a tiny classroom. Her face is in her book as always. Uh huh. It wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri? <laughs> I stay in character. Tell Peter let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved in it like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Dude, if she's not from Soviet Russia, I have no idea what she's from. Uh, we picked voices perfectly. <laughs> yeah, we kind of crushed it. Did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Oh. <laughs> okay. She sounds like... Because her name is Yuri, so she's obviously the Russian character sandwich. And And quite frankly, her entire persona and... The lyrics that she's been written here, why am I saying lyrics? It's a script, is completely up that alley. <laughs> Soviet <laughs> Russia, I drive you. Yuri Mario writes poems in gulags to share with literature club. Yeah, Yuri summers in gulag, winters in Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> You're a I really feel like I speak my mind. or I really feel like you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think of that. You were right, though. <laughs> 
I did something bad. And now I have to accept the revolution. The retribution. The retribution. If he dies, he dies. Yuri, book club. <laughs> okay, I gotta put this guy out. <laughs> if he What's dies, it? he dies. What's One it? moment, pussy needs to be evacuated. <laughs> I'll be right back. One second. <laughs> <laughs> oh god this is good so sandwich i don't know if you were listening earlier but you've met the the russian yuri the stereotypical uh anime chick in sayori there's two more that you need to meet and uh i think you'll enjoy it what one of them's a a little rant. I was telling Sandwich about the uh, two others that that are two other girls that she's yet to meet with our voices. Oh yeah, they're coming. Oh yeah, they are. Anyway, <laughs> retribution. Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Still coming from you, Seori. I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the best possible voice for this character. I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? Nah. <laughs> yeah. Don't let her fool ya. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. If I was, if it weren't for cupcakes, <laughs> so I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, keep more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? I oh. missed it. Oh, I heard his plop. <sighs> it just like. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Bet you're here for it. Well, we're glad you're here. Toasted. Kia! <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Oh! <laughs> what was. Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution! <laughs> <laughs> I think you mean the retribution. That's you, dog. That's oh, shit. You. Retribution. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too deep in the characters now. <laughs> Actually... That one almost worked. Oh shit. That's you. <laughs> I was gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. Ha <laughs> ha! That's so nice of you. So happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. <laughs> <It's> so good. Sayori <laughs> <laughs> really su suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I did my tongue. <laughs> You're gonna get. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Atsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, uh, you look really good too, Natsuki. Can I try? Jays, baggers can't be chosers. But but yours is chocolate. Yeah, why? Did, 
Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? <gasps> I'm fine. Still, I'm real happy you shared this one with me. <laughs> <laughs> See, he gets out of her seat and go goes behind Natsuki. Uh, what? Then wraps her arms around her. Ah, right, Chase. I get it, I get it. I did it. <laughs> Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Mm -hmm. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. <laughs> hey! Did you seriously just do that? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. <laughs> Yuri and. <laughs> Yuri and I laugh as well. Chase, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh. Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have you heard anything about her being late today? <laughs> Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. <laughs> it's a bit... Unusual. I hope she okay. Why does she sound like a hick and a man? Uh, cause she's but um. She's a Russian beefy. Deal with it. <laughs> of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She needs Jesus. She's pretty popular after all. I feel like Tommy's giving 100% and Scout's giving it 10%. Wow. I hate I hate that BV's trying to score us here. BV, all we know is what we're giving is way more than you gave when you did this game. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> you don't think she... She has a... a... Uh, 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 I would not be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Uh, <laughs> that's true. Excuse me. <laughs> Suddenly, the door swings open. <laughs> sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. Now, have you seen my Doki Doki vlog? That shit won an Emmy. One vote from yourself in your fake contest. More like a lamey. <laughs> I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong wheel. Boyfriend? What on what on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Um Well, my last period of day was study hall. And like, to be honest, I kinda just lost track of time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That makes no sense at all. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it. You know, I was just practicing the piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Well, listen, bitch. I'm super talented. <laughs> okay? I kind of just, you know, picked it up. I'm trying to get into Berkeley. All right. <laughs> I always wanted to learn it, so, you know, let's do it, you know? Oh, that's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. Um, that's, um... Monica looks at me. You know what? Maybe once I get a little bit better, okay? But just don't press me, okay, bitch? Yay! <laughs> that sounds so cool. I'd also look forward to that. 
is that so? <laughs> In that case, I won't let you down, Pinar. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot. And I'd really love the chance to share it with you once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. <laughs> uh -oh. So, uh, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure that Suki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri's back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. It's kind of weird. I love cookies. <laughs> Ugh. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something Captain in there? Uh, Freaking Monica! She <coughs> she never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Is That's, she really about to like show us her manga collection? Natsuki <laughs> slides a, a bunch of stack books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Ah, uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. I <laughs> wonder why, dude. How do you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed Peter to mean? Here. There was manga tattooed on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I see. What do you mean, Monica? Also, some guy... Came in here was saying he wrote a bunch of poems about mangoes. I don't know if that's related to the the game at all. Very strange. I was about to bound his the ban his ass, bound his ass, ban his ass. If you. It was a, a bunch of weirdos came in when I started. It was really funny and kind of weird. <laughs> There's a lone volume of of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. Then she turns a box of manga and slips a volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. Seeing a doll room with one doll out of place is just... <laughs> I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box <laughs> says she's admiring. Parfait girls? What the fuck, bro? Uh -oh. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. Probably means it's either out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. Look, if you're going to judge me, you're going to have to go before the Lord. You can go do, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, 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 I wasn't judging or anything. I didn't, I, even, I, didn't, I didn't even say anything, man. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll wow. tell you one thing, Peter. Consider this. A lesson straight from the Lord. I mean the literature club. Do not judge a book by its cover. In amen. In <laughs> fact, can I get an amen in the chat? <laughs> Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. <laughs> Go before the Lord, all caps. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shows the book right into my hands. And when Jesus takes you up. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in color of attire, striking animated feminine poses. Like this game. It's exceedingly <clears throat> mo. Don't just stand there! A uh, what? Natsuki uh, grabs my arm and pulls me out of this closet. Oh wait, I'm just narrating. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window seals. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfy? I take my seat. <laughs> That was, that was, what? that was you. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Oh, oh. <laughs> chairs wouldn't work. 
We can't read at the same time like that. Why's that? I guess it's easier to be closer together like this. Exclamation point. Don't just say that. You make me feel weird. <laughs> Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. So, sorry. Didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Now that I can say it's a particular bad thing, I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space. While she hopes I won't notice, I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow! How long has it been since I read the beginning? What's that? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? No, not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention to me? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so... I can talk at the same time. It looks like a, about a bunch of friends in high school. Typically, typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of a plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of people of the beginnings about simple things. Like there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with the guy at the ice cream shop. That just helps you to get to know the characters. Besides, it's very entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama, like when they get into their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There's so many touching parts. That's so. Sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, wait. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Ooh, what? <laughs> Natsuki gives me a little shove. Well, that's just narrating. I just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. Humph. Ah! <laughs> Natsuki's power over 9,000! Ah! Yo, what is that? What's happening, man? This is, ah! this is 30. Good save. Ah, this chapter Let seems... Like it's, about, <laughs> it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, <laughs> Sandwich gets it. You get it. Natsuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? Doesn't. I'm just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's just a quinky dink. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got into this manga. I should just say manga, like she would say it. Excuse me. Like I would ever get into anything because it's manga. I feel bad for anyone that's impressionable. Ha <laughs> ha! Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick from a manga, it's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Jesus Christ. It's fucking <laughs> evil. <laughs> dot dot dot. Very close to my face. We read on for a few more minutes. Finished a couple chapters at this point. You sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something like that with somebody else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Question mark. What? You don't know what I mean? Um... That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your your manga with your friends? Oh, Jesus. Did her eyes just move? Am I seeing things? Did anyone... Her facial expression changed. Jesus. Scared me, kind of. Could you not rub it in? The eyes freaked me out, dude. Alyssa said, oh, the cursed eyes. No. Jeez. Yeah, I missed it. I might have missed it. Something moved. Ah, uh, sorry. Humph. Like, I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up with them being all like, Ah, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them right in the gosh darn face. Ugh, I know these kinds of people. I'm offended. I love that. 
I've never read it. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge. Such friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess, <laughs> I, guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. Rip. I feel attacked. Uh, but it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Some volleyball manga? He already watches a volleyball anime series, so <laughs> there you go. Nice kill! Nice kill! Nice kill! Oh, hey, guys, if you don't watch they have two defenders. They have the two defenders on the left side. Therefore, I will hit it to the right! <laughs> ah! The Iron Wall, do you remember that? They have no chance. That's what it's the keep up, Tommy. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? How am I supposed to know what he's told you and what he hasn't? Okay, let's calm down for a second. Let's calm down. I give her a yellow card for that. I mean, I can't even feel like I keep up in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Set Monica. <laughs> she said Set Monica. Set Monica. Kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Oh, God. Her eyes just moved again. I missed it. So? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, yeah, they are moving. Fucking creepy. Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I've lost the voice. <laughs> I forget it. I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. <coughs> Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her. She's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh, I shouldn't keep talking about that yet. Just finish the chapter. All right. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone, but if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with somebody like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, Natsuki, for who it's a rare experience. The thought makes me smile a little bit to myself. Okay, everyone. <laughs> eh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. So, uh, you do look pretty cozy over there. Ah? <laughs> <laughs> uh? Aha! That Suki suddenly... <laughs> Natsuki suddenly notices how she's gotten close to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Monica. Why? Why are we looking at Monica like this? You know. All right. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Yeah, but, uh, Monica just said... Uh, don't be dumb. Yeah, this is definitely your chick. <laughs> <laughs> Just take it home with you. Huh? Is that really all right? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish it if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. <laughs> okay. Murder. By tomorrow? I only get partway through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. I suppose that any necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Alright then. Not a Monica fan? I stand up. I return is to where it, I put... Is what? it just because of the voice? Are you just, you just don't like Valley Girls? Huh, okay. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. Her existence? Wow. Wow. Did I write a All new right. poem? Yeah, remember we clicked everything? We were trying to make it for Natsuki. Okay. Alright, what was the order we went in last time? Uh, I started with Monica... You're... No, no, no. I went last, I thought. I think you or went... You... You st we started with 
Sayori, right? I think I, I thought we did Yuri, Sayori, Natsuki, Monica. Or was it Yuri? I don't know. Fuck it, dude. Just pick one. Start with you. I like this one, Peter. It has some a nice feelings in it. Ah, I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Mm, let me think. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I like them both. <laughs> He sorry, his... sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> That's not behind the mic because he's laughing his ass off. That's hilarious. That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if pumps good to bed. But that's just uh I go by my heart. <laughs> if it makes me feel things, and it must be good pump. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. All right, don't skip her poem this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're better. Yeah! <laughs> oh, God. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Ah, you want to write something for me? <laughs> That's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. Anything about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting out hurt at some point. Uh. Well. I don't really know what you mean, but I try to keep it in my mind. Well, whatever. Anyways, let's see. <laughs> I guess I like it. Happy poems. <laughs> Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit both. Oh, uh, no. There's a word for that, right? How you say, um... Ah, b bittersweet! Things are happy and sad. Happy and sad? Can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. I like happy most. But sometimes, when you have a little rain cloud in your head, sad palm can help give the rain cloud a little hug and make a nice happy <laughs> rainbow. Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. Ah, uh, it's getting better. Expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Peter. My voice for that's going downhill. Yeah, <laughs> you're sounding more English on the back end. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Both straight up, I'm saying all right. <laughs> I should go write that down then. <laughs> there we go. That's better. <laughs> you can read my poem now, okay? Uh. Oh, that's blurry on my screen. Bottles. I pop off my scalp. Wait, 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 wait. Are we doing this one in her voice? We did the English one for last time. Should we do a different voice? Uh, it's up to you. 
I mean, what do you think? Like, you picked the English one last time. What do you, you want me to do we a could, different voice? You got any? We could do the English ones for poems. <laughs> Bottles. <laughs> you sound like an orc from Lord of the Rings, dude. Bottles. <laughs> Is that what we're doing? Is that what... You can hold it for it. It's... This one's in Urukai. Okay. In <laughs> this one's in Urukai, dude. Please. <laughs> Bottles. I bubble my scalp <laughs> like a little cookie jar. Let's do your place while I keep on my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck water out. It's warm and tingly. Like <laughs> Like man <laughs> Like man flesh. <laughs> but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf of other bottles. <laughs> Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts in bottles, all in a row, just like those hobbitses. My collection makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle of starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feels a certain way. Comes Down comes a bottle to save the day. We like to drink a lot, that's what it's about. Night after night, more dreams. Friends and friends, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave, discovery, the secret hiding in the nooks and crannies, <laughs> digging and digging, scraping and scraping. They wouldn't miss those. I'm crying. I blow dust on my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time's elapsed. My empty shelf could lose some more. My friends are through my lock front door. Let us in the Helm's Deep Ocho. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. They are fucked. In they, <laughs> they come. <are> <laughs> oh my god. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the the between my feet. <laughs> happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards all over the floor like brittle bones. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're shouting, pleading, bashing, burning. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Saruman. <laughs> How was that? Was that pretty good? <laughs> I think the best part of that was, <sighs> I think. I think my the best part of that was shouting, bleeding, smashing, burn. <laughs> that was that was my favorite part of that. I just Don't like Carly. I just like that we got to what voice should we do? This one's in a record. <laughs> <laughs> was that pretty good? I oh. thought was, you give me three red cards. It's not even physically possible. Sandwich, cut me some fucking slack here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Don't you like soccer? You toss it around so much. It means you're what? off the field. It means you're out of there. What are we tossing? The red card. Oh, okay. You, you know about, about you know about that in soccer? I thought she was ta talking about tossing something else. If the foul <laughs> <laughs> if, if the foul uh it's for soccer. If the foul, if it's too uh, too illegal, you get if you get a red card, you can't play anymore. You get kicked off the field for that game and the next game, so you can't play. Oh, ooh, woo. <laughs> play it. Deep. 
I don't know if Alyssa's seen that before because she just reacted to it. Oh shit! Did you forehead camera, dude? Hit her with the forehead. And the slow eyes. Slow eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. <laughs> Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. Monica sus. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I got British again. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. What if they're all um? Wait, time out. Wait, what if they're all a hive mind, bro? What do you mean, like different all, forms? What if, what if all these girls are members of the same hive mind? It's not. It's the best theory we have That's so far. Theory. C creepy. <laughs> well, not exactly. Maybe it's because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Never mind. Thinking way too hard about this. Point is, came out good, so you should be proud of it. Ah, thank you, Peter. I feel like uh, feel like I was meant to express myself in this way. <laughs> it even, even helped me understand my own feelings a little better. Writing is like magic. Kind of pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope I hope you keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have to take a break because some of it's losing its luster. Like we're gonna like we're getting too used to the voices, and then what's gonna happen is it's just gonna get dull for us. So at some point we're gonna have to find a stopping point, and then and it's then cycle a, it back. It is a we, we have been going for three hours. Writing the best. <laughs> can't hear you, Pete. What's up? Hello? Hello? You can't hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Peter, are you there? Hello? Why can't I hear you, dude? Uh -huh. Can I mute or something? Wait, try talking again? Hello? There we go. Sorry. What Sorry. happened? All right. My computer muted itself for some reason. Weird. Yeah. It's kind of... oh. Down to another window. Oh, okay. All right. I'm good. Um, I'm going to keep writing until I die. No, that's not it. That's not the right. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. They always had a bit of a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping in no more than a week later. I wonder if this was one of those times, but seeing the passion... Just like Marshmallow after I watch Ghostbusters. It's great. Love Marshmallow. <laughs> but seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. <sighs> okay, I don't think we should do the next three poems. I think maybe one more and call it. Who do we do? Well, you just did one, so I should do one, right? Well, well, which one are you gonna do? Are you gonna do the Ruski, or are you gonna do? Uh... I think I'm gonna do Yuri. Ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> All right, we'll do Yuri and then close it. We have been going the... for three hours, ish, give or take. Holy shit, bro! It's eight o'clock my time. Yeah. So let's do we're Yuri. Already, we're already we're already past. We're past eight o'clock. So you're past what your stop time already. All right, let's so save. Let's save it. And return. Okay, that was. My okay. brain hurts from like trying to figure those fucking voices out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. The Uruk I'm not gonna lie. The Urukai voice took a lot out of me. It took a lot. It <laughs> all right, all right. Shouting, right. pawing, stretching, bird. <laughs> Yuri, Yuri, and then we'll call it. Oh, you're gonna run it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be the last one. 
Are we going to switch games or are you just done for the night? I'll switch games. Okay. Let's see what you have written for today. Duh. Dut. 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 Mm. Mm. I suggest you look up what the word dot is in Russian. <laughs> Next time you come in. Let's look it up. Stol, 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 or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, oh Google Translate. Google? You look up Google Translate Russia and the feds are going to show up your house like you're trying to rig an election. Translation. <laughs> Translation. <laughs> Russian. The best language in the world. X. Duh. Dot. Oh, cool, because they use the Russian alphabet, because I definitely don't know how to say that. Can, they, wait, can, you, can you press the play button yeah, so yeah, it yeah. sounds like? Dotchka. 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 T O C H K A. Dotchka. Dotchka. Alright. Dotchka. Dotchka. Wait, I spit all over the monitor. Let's clean that up. Okay, we're back to it. This is pretty good, Peter. Were you influenced by seeing everyone's writing styles yesterday? I guess you could say that. I was also a bit surprised how differently everyone writes. So I respect you for trying new things. You don't need to be afraid for being a little more... daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning a bunch... like turning bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings and write down the things you see and hear. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. It's a very intimate exercise. <laughs> I see. It's certainly an interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I, uh... Oh, shit. I have, um... Tochka, tochka, tochka. Tochka, tochka, tochka. Well, an example of that, if you'd like to read it. Tochka, tochka, tochka. Of course. Is this, is this the poem you wrote for the day? Yuri nods and timidly hands me her poem. Oh, shit. Here we go. Wait, wait, what, what language are we doing this one in? I don't are know. Are doing it in English, like the last? Yeah, should I just say it in her accent? Do you want to read it? Because Am I the only one that's read poems right now? Or <laughs> I, I did it in her voice. You can, yeah, you do it. You do it in okay, her okay, voice. Okay. I, like, I like your Russian voice. is pretty good. I like it. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. <laughs> My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside the window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an ordinary human. I gave a raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious, well aware of the consequences. Well aware that the raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread. My hungry curiosity. The raccoon. An urge. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in eyes of raccoon friend. <laughs> I slice bread fresh, soft. Raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting emotions onto newly satisfied animal. Raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy every time I... Brandish my cutting knife. The raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice bread. <laughs> and feed myself again. Okay. Um. I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style, using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies, like stabbing and raccoons. 
it's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep by myself. And charcuterie. <laughs> yeah. Great British Bake Show. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan of British Bake Show. They come to Moscow once. He's nice. Everyone makes brown bread, nothing else. <laughs> so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Because they're embarrassing. And people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Peter? Well, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities, even if it's difficult sometimes. And some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad you're a good listener. Holy shit. Alright. Alright, that's it. I think that's a great place to save. That was round one of games. I don't want to play Doki Doki Literature Club Edition. My voice is pretty much shot at this point. I can't believe Sandwich played for nine My hours. My voice going strong, ready to party. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be. We are ready to. Wait, how do I even get back to that? <laughs> We're ready to destroy. I can't even get back to that. That was like a one time only. You guys were here, Bog. <laughs> crushing, burning, crushing, burning. A lot of, act <laughs> a lot of activity tonight. Nanobite, thank you for the follow. Hello, nice world. Thank you for the follow. DDLC stream, thank you for the follow. Hello, world. Have a nice day. Thank you for the bits and the poem. Donut Master, to, thank you. For Val after this? I'm down for Valorant. Are you cutting the stream out completely, or are we just going to... Um, I mean, we can keep it going. I'll decide in a minute, I think. But, uh... Okay, 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 okay. Donut, thank you for the tier two for 10 months. Appreciate you, dog. Also, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you, dog. And the 500 bits. Thank you, dog. Lux. Appreciate the follow. Wild activity today. It's fun. Sandwich, thanks yeah, for hanging out as per usual. Hawkscast, oh. hell of a nice day. Scalabaster, Donut, Tommy. Big shout out to my co host tonight. Oh my god, thank you. That's the voice of Monica. That's the voice of Sayori. Okay? That's the voice of. Uh, uh, <laughs> also, the, the sound effects. Very entertaining stream. Thank you, Hawkscast. Well, uh, this is episode. This is part one of this particular game as part of the series games that I want to play. So we will continue this next week, probably. Uh, maybe Sunday night. Probably not though. Need some time to rest the voice. Um, but I'm glad you guys stuck around. I didn't really know how that was gonna go. So that's. We're going to need to let our voices rest for a little bit. You know? right. Yeah, absolutely. So that's, um, yeah, that's it. I appreciate you guys. We're not going to raid tonight. Just kind of slowly fade into the shadows here. But uh, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you guys. Till next week for this game.